Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixel and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be taking a very quick look at some gameplay and the performance of the Battlefield 2042 beta running on our Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6800 XT graphics card alongside the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. All the gameplay that you're about to see has been recorded at a 1440p resolution on either the lowest or the ultra quality presets. The reason why we are covering both quality presets is simply because Battlefield 2042 is a stunning game when completely maxed out, which puts an awful lot of pressure onto our GPU, however because there's so much going on at any one time, it also puts an awful lot of strain onto our CPU by default, which means our maximum frame rates are likely going to be dictated by a CPU bottleneck in most cases. The CPU limited nature of Battlefield 2042 is the primary reason that the difference in performance between the low and quality preset is relatively small when compared to previous entries in the franchise. If we start off by taking a look at the ultra quality preset we will see that our average frame rate is somewhere between around 90 and 120 frames per second and yet even on the ultra quality preset we still run up against CPU limitations a fairly decent chunk of the time. Now to be honest, it's not like the said limitations are going to cause a vast drop in GPU performance. If we just look at the GPU utilization, you will see that we spend most of our time in the late 80s and 90 percentile. Whilst this doesn't have a major effect on performance or ultra settings, it does indicate that we are likely to run up against some fairly heavy CPU limitations by lowering the graphical settings and that is exactly what we find. Dropping down to the low quality preset gives us around 30% extra performance. However, at this point we are massively underutilizing our GPU to the point where we still have 30 to 40% utilization on the table and now we are almost entirely CPU bound. I don't actually think that we saw maximum GPU utilization at any point whilst playing on the low quality preset. Now, when we compare the differences between low and ultra with the differences seen in previous Battlefield games, the numbers here may appear to be a little bit underwhelming, as generally Battlefield games do have some fairly decent scaling on both the GPU and CPU side of things. However, I think it's safe to say that this time around we are seeing a huge increase in CPU requirements due to just how much the scale and scope has been expanded. Not only do we now have double the number of players per match, but that ends up leading into bigger maps and more vehicles, and beyond that we also see AI controlled gadgets and even more destruction. This is most likely only possible due to the huge increase in CPU performance that the current generation of consoles have seen when compared to previous generations, which in turn gives the developers so much more power to play with, resulting in much higher CPU requirements here on the PC. It's also worth pointing out that this is still a beta and that the Battlefield games are known to receive a fairly decent level of support for years to come, so it is entirely possible that we could see further CPU optimizations in the coming weeks and months, which would likely help push performance just a little bit further, especially in terms of the low quality preset. Overall, I think that the performance that we are seeing here is fairly well justified and it's nice to see that our Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6800 XT graphics card is able to stretch its legs at 1440p Ultra, even if it is being held back a little bit at low. Honestly, with the much more powerful CPUs in the current generation of consoles, I would not be surprised if we see this become a common trend until we see PC CPUs take another big leap into the unknown. For now though, that is going to be me done for today, so thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, suggestions or feedback, then please leave them down in the comment section below. If you've not done so already, also don't forget to slap that subscribe button so you get notified of our future uploads. And as always, if you like this video, then please leave it a like and that's always appreciated. With that said, once again, from myself and everybody here at the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, we will catch you later. Bye bye.